And welcome back. This is Mega Blade J, and I'm continuing my let's play of Arena Maze of Death, the Sega Game Gear. All right, so we are now on part 15. I have no idea how long this game is, but uh, so far it's gonna be pretty long. Um, last episode. We, uh, what, what, what did we do last episode? Uh, I actually don't remember. We probably blew something up. I probably cursed a lot. Um, or, um, 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 what did we do? Oh yeah, we uh, went through another warehouse area, but this warehouse is actually different. It was actually interesting, as it had an actual, like, puzzle level design thingy going on. I'm hoping that more levels will have this design going on as well. Alright, so I actually heard a sound over there, so we're gonna go back and uh, hopefully something changed over here. Nope. All the same. Man, I hate when they do that. Like you hear you hear something change and then like you backtrack but then nothing change and then you get all disappointed and stuff. Kinda sucks. Well, that, that's new. Yeah. It'd be nice if like there was like different sound depending on what the thing was. Like, if it was, um, if it was, uh, like an item, or an enemy of uh, different sounds, that'd be nice. That'd be really nice. But nope, 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 nope. Has to be all the same. And other news, um, at the time of me recording this video, Nintendo has uh, decided to announce a brand new Wii U bundle pack that comes with the uh, brand new Mario Kart 8. It also comes along with a uh, Wii Mote, the Mario Kart game, a Wii U, I believe the deluxe model, I believe. Plus, if you actually, um, if you actually, uh, register the game, Mario Kart, Mario Kart 8 on Club Nintendo, before July, I believe, you can actually get a download code to go and, uh, download another free game. I believe that's pretty cool. Um... I don't remember what the games are, but I believe it's like different between the US, Europe, and Japan. I believe in the US, the games you can pick are between uh, New Super Mario Brothers U, um, Wii Party U, um, see that, that was different there. That was different there, like you can't really tell what's different. So yeah, it's um... New Super Mario Brothers U, uh, We Party U, um, Pikmin 3, which I want, and some other game, I don't, don't remember what it is. I think it's New Luigi Brothers U, maybe? Who knows? Or, or is it Nintendo Land? I think it might be Nintendo Land. So anyhow, that is, actually is a pretty good deal, and I am extremely tempted to get that right now. That, that's actually pretty good. Plus, it's a deluxe model, so I think they have this deal going on where if you like buy a bunch of digital games, it gives you like money back after a little bit. So that's a pretty good deal. Plus, you get, plus you get like the whole Wiimote Plus thing too. So that's actually a pretty darn good deal. Now I'm not sure how a lot of people played it, but um, I actually did play Mario Kart Wii. Using the actual Wii Mote as a um, as a uh, controller, you know, I had the whole Wii Wheel thing, 
that was pretty fun. So, if I had the money right now, I would totally go out and buy that. That would be my way to get in for the Wii. Hopefully I do, like, but right now, I unfortunately am broke. Broke, broke, broke. So, um, I'm hoping that later on they'll do another one with the, uh, Super Smash Brothers U game. Hopefully they'll do the exact same deal. And hopefully then I'll actually have money. Hopefully. Maybe. Who knows. I think I'm pretty good on health. I am pretty decent at health right now. Yep, knew it! It's a trap! It's a trap! That was too simple! Ooh, I almost fell in. Crap. Crap. Ugh. Okay, that was cool. Alright, so, so far these levels are getting pretty interesting. I mean, not the actual level design themselves, but... I guess the enemy placement is like keeping me on my toes. Okay, so there's a teleporter over here, and there's an item over there. I'm getting the feeling that the second I go over and touch that item, enemies are gonna start spawning all over me. explored everything else around here. So, uh, I guess we'll touch the item and, uh, see what happens. Yep, that's what I thought. I don't think anything else changed over here, any anyhow. Oh, did it? Anything change? I don't think it did. Nope, everything looks the same. Everything looks the same, let's go. Alright, alright. Um wonder how long this level is. And once again I forgot to time myself. Dang it. I always do that. Is it really that hard just to get like a stopwatch or something? Like, nope, I just keep forgetting. Okay, I see a grenade over there. And I'm getting the feeling it's gonna be the exact same thing. Like the second I touch it, like, it's gonna like explode or something. Or no, not not explode, but there's gonna be like um enemies popping out of nowhere. Ooh. Ooh, what's that? I want that. What is that? What is that? I want it. Um, I want that. Oh, my respawning guy. Yep, knew it. I knew it. Now, how do I get over to the boat? Uh, hey, these things respawn out of nowhere. 
I will get that thing. Okay, I didn't get that thing. Okay. So yeah, I actually um, just went around in the level and tried to um, find some way over there. But, um, yeah, it didn't work out. I guess I must have like missed the thing that led me over to that because uh, I could not find any way over there. So I didn't want to waste you guys time, so I just like, decided just to not show it. Make your way across this zone, taking careful note to avoid the remote security implements. So more pop-up dudes, pretty much. And what level is it? It's a sore level, yeah! Alright, see you guys in the next episode. Like, subscribe, see you later.